Hello, welcome to World Now. We begin with a major development in the United Kingdom where Prime Minister Liz Truss has resigned from office. Speaking outside Downing Street, she says she has told King Charles he is resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. Liz Truss's premiership came under renewed pressure after the Home Secretary resigned and a chaotic vote on fracking. There is more in this report. Ahead Liz Truss's statement, the official lectern was wheeled outside number 10, with the country waiting in anticipation for the Prime Minister to make her statement. She said the country had been held back for too long and she was elected by her party with a mandate to change this, a task she was unable to deliver on. I recognise, though, given the situation, I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. She said her government delivered on energy bills and cutting national insurance and had set out a vision for a low tax, high growth economy. We delivered on energy bills and on cutting national insurance. And we set out a vision for a low tax, high growth economy that would take advantage of the freedoms of Brexit. There was muted response on the market after Liz Truss announced she was resigning as Prime Minister. The pound rose initially in the immediate aftermath of the statement before settling back at around $1.12. Liz Truss's resignation comes after she met with 1922 Committee Chairman Sir Graham Brady today. They agreed there will be a leadership election within the next week, adding she will remain as Prime Minister until a successor is chosen. Labour leader Kay Starmer has demanded a general election now after Liz Truss announced her resignation as Prime Minister. Liz Truss has been in office for just 45 days, the shortest tenure of any UK Prime Minister. The second shortest serving prime minister was George Canin, who served for 119 days after dying in 1827. Trouble began for Liz Truss when her first chancellor, Kwasi Kwarteng, spoke the financial market with his mini budget on the 23rd of September. Since then, conservative disquiet has muffed into widespread anger within the parliamentary party. Her stepping down today follows dramatic scenes in the House of Commons last night over a vote on fracking. Calls for her to go kept growing in the hours afterwards. Chancellor Jeremy Hunt has confirmed he will not stand to be the next Conservative leader and UK Prime Minister.